You know what's going on, bro. I've been waiting for this shit. This right here is doing numbers, and we gotta react to it. Aizen is for sure going to win in this fight. All right, I'm just calling it right now. If he doesn't win, it's fake. Simple as that. But even though I know, the, even though I know the answer, I still want to see how the fight turns out. So we're watching this shit. All right. This episode of Death. We're watching it, chat. Death Battle is sponsored by Raycon. Raycons give you absolutely amazing audio quality no matter where you go or what you do. Whether you're getting pumped up, winding down, working, or working out. Raycons! And they're a perfect gift for anyone on your list. And as your gift to yourself, they start at half the price of other premium audio brands. Plus, they're available in five stylish colors. And with free shipping and returns, gifting is easier than ever this year with Raycons. Let's get it! Skip! We don't care. Madara Uchiha, the legendary messianic shinobi from Naruto. Sosuke Aizen, the soul reaper bro, who's stood Aizen on the mop the floor of this dude, bro. We may dream of glory, but these two have crazy. the to power to take it by force and claim a seat among the gods. They're the biggest, baddest anime bosses around, and not even death can stop them. Ghost versus zombie, let's go. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Jesus Christ, this is gonna be so fire. Endless destruction, countless dead, a plot to conquer the planet. The ninja world was at war. For the fourth time, I got 48,906 forms. Save humanity from itself, really do. from beyond the grave. The same man who orchestrated this war in the first place. Now and look, end all one thing I won't ever, ever like deny is that between Aizen and Madara's debut, Madara had a far better debut than Aizen did. And I don't give a fuck what any one of y'all niggas say. He had a better debut. All right, simple as that. Y'all were, y'all were in, in the whole war. You see, I, you see Madara pull up. He was fit over here, fading every single. Everyone in the allies will be forced and shit like it was just nothing. Just like toying with them like they're just rag dolls. It was crazy. Crazy as hell. It was amazing. Now compared to Aizen, I mean his debut was pretty cool. It's pretty cool too. You know, you see uh you see uh you see each over charging at him, you know, trying to cut him up. And then this man just literally well, he grabs his sword with like one little thing, tick, and he just gets slashed up. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I think Aizen's like, damn. I was trying to go for it. I was trying to cut you in half, but like I fucked up. I was like, yo, that's crazy. I don't know how you both look. These are both some really good villains. These are like some W ass villains. I don't care. These should, look, these shows did a good job on them. All wars from start forever. to finish. Madara Uchiha. From birth, war was the only thing the young Madara knew, and there was no ninja he liked fighting more than Hashirama Senju. They're basically ninja Romeo and Juliet. Belonging to opposing clans, Madara. All right, let, let, let me pull up the stats real quick. Okay, let me pull up the stats. Um, so let's see. Full name Madara Uchiha. We know that height is five ten. About the same height as me. Okay, weighs one hundred fifty seven pounds. Damn. Former leader of the Uchiha clan, co-founder of Konoha Gakure. Yeah. Uh, resurrected Edo Tensei, Fair Food, Inar. What's that? Inar Rizushi. What the fuck is that? Hold up, what the hell is that? Oh, let me see that, what's, what's else in your raw sushi? Oh, so it's like fried sushi, I guess? It looks okay, pretty good. I'd eat it, I'd, I'd probably try it out. And his hobbies, falconry and 5D chess. What's 5D chess? 
and Hashirama were forced to battle each other for years, all the while dreaming of a better future. Their romance like eventually attorney? overcame their Dang. clan's differences, and the two groups merged, creating the village of Konoha. But Maduro wasn't satisfied with Hashirama's dream of peace through cooperation. He desired an immortal peace through total domination. Everyone else thought that was crazy, so he bounced, and then he came back to wage war against the village he helped build. Well, that didn't last long, huh? Madara's megalomania was perhaps fated, considering he is, in fact, the reincarnation of the demigod Indra Otsutsuki and the inheritor of his immensely powerful chakra. Basically physical and spiritual energy that makes ninja magic. Madara specializes in fire and wood style jutsus. Let's see, Goombai and Kama, Sword, Fire Style, of course, Hashirama Souls. Yeah, he has that too. Storm Style, Light Fang, Sensing Technique, Chakra Absorption, and Summoning Tentails. Oh, yeah, he can do that. Which just seems irresponsible to put those together. Like I don't understand, bro. Aizen clearly ha bro. Aizen has the power to trick all five senses. You understand that? You don't know, you'll never know where this nigga is. You'll never know where he is. He's that strong. That is O power. Or power. Is Death Battle even pull, even pull some bullshit? If Death Battle, look. If Death Battle fucks around and pulls this off and they say Madara wins this, then it's bullshit. It's complete bullshit. And you know for a fact, the dislike. Well, oh wait, damn, I, I forgot. Dislikes aren't a thing anymore. Well, you know for a fact, it's not gonna be fun. I just do anything. I just literally do anything, bro. A gender reveal party He's waiting tough. to happen. His wood is especially impressive, considering it's the only style of elemental jutsu that can create life. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Madara can even use his goonbai to absorb ninjutsu and return it right back to sender. You know you're a badass when you can take on armies with just a friggin' fan. Madara has torn apart hordes of ninja without breaking a sweat, taken a beating from every tailed beast at once, and even defeated the five kage, some of the strongest shinobi in the world. The Raikage is even stated to be fast enough to move at light speed. And even weaker ninja like Orochimaru have dodged literal photon beams. But Madara's greatest uh -huh. tool is the one born from his very bloodline, the eternal Mangekyo Sharingan. Yeah. These magical eyes massively enhance nah, the perception. That is what, look, that's one thing about Madara that he has over, well, I'm going to say over Aizen, but one thing that you know puts him as like, at like a, it makes it a fight in a way, you know what I mean? Because he has a Sharingan. And with the turn of my Gekio, you get like perfect Susano, dual swords, yeah, all that shit. And like a bunch of other stuff. And Genjutsu as well. But that is where you put that's not shit over fucking Aizen's though. Exception down to not the cellular close. level, allowing him to predict movements. So the chakra well less. When a man and a woman love each other very much, the they can also no, cast a genjutsu <laughs> that'll trap anyone that looks at it in an illusion, and even break them out of those same illusions. In Sasuke's case, even ones as strong as Itachi Sukuyomi, which can warp your perception of Oh, and he's an Itachi used thing. it on a fellow Uchiha and made her live out her entire life in the span of one one hundredth of one one thousandth of one one millionth of a second and when she died in the illusion she died for real if sasuke could break out of it madara could too easily and after grafting some of hashirama's cells onto himself he now would always have a piece of his romeo inside him <laughs> this is my ship whiz stop looking at me like that he not only gained a healing but factor Sargon strong enough to star. from having half his body vaporized but also the terrifying star like a ninja star aka the big sure. of all yeah. that magic Something the like that. let Madara absorb chakra and ninjutsu great invisible oh yeah and he has the ridding gone too Devil path attract and repulse forces summon meteors human path read minds pull out souls predator path absorbs chakra Naraka path, interrogation and restoration, Ashura path, cyborg augmentation, animal path summons monsters, outer path summons a demonic statue, black receiver, limbo, border jail. Um, that's another thing. Aizen doesn't have chakra, he uses spiritual energy, so basically anything that Mado uses to like repel chakra will be like obsolete against him. So, I don't know how he's gonna even compete with that, to be honest with you. Oh, and Infinite Sukuyomi is another thing. Yeah, that shit is tough. Uh, God, Nativity, Will of Truth. Well, yeah. Limbo clones, see and remove your soul from your body and yeah, summon taking it? Out of your mind. As if he needed any more fucking powers. 
While the Rinnegan lacks some of the Sharingan's unique abilities, he can switch between them at will. After tearing the ninja world a new asshole, Madara was finally defeated in a climactic battle. Give me just a hand seals, I'm coming for Dojutsu techniques. Your identical shapes and sizes, Madara likely creates mirrors and chocolate or chocolate so that's the problem. For the ages by his BFF, and thus the life of a legendary shinobi came Makes to sense. an end in the arms that's what of I figured too. true love. I didn't think like he actually pulled him out of my face. That's just tough. All right, this is this is gonna get pretty crazy, but just oh bear ease. with me. What is West? What is that? Time to lay jutsu that would posthumously rewrite reality and bring him back to male. life, and it worked. So Madara tricked another Uchiha, Obito, into witnessing his best friend murdering his other best friend. Then he tasked Obito with manipulating the world into another war. Meanwhile, he gave his own Rinnegan to Nagato with the goal of getting it back after he was brought back to life the second time with the outer path because he died again. Make sense? Nah, that'll never work. <laughs> You're right, it didn't. So Obito went out and got the Rinnegan back from Nakato's corpse, because he died. Then Kabuto brought Madara back to life, and he got his eyes back from Obito after some backstabbing. Then he sealed the awakened Tentails within himself in order to gain ultimate power and create the world's greatest nap time ever. It's <gasps> crazy. <laughs> Look what you people have done to him. <laughs> Tentails power. Nah, honestly, bro, thinking about that, bro. <laughs> That's a lot of explaining. That is a lot of explaining. Holy shit. That is crazy. Naruto is such a detailed story. There's so much explaining behind this. I feel like a lot of the stuff that he just explained, I didn't even remember until he like actually mentioned it. I know a lot of you. It's crazy. Madara planned out a lot of this. Naruto has so much shit going on. It does. Would be awesome, but it those does. stinky eight balls of doom are so lame. Don't let their size fool you. These truth-seeking orbs are in another league. The Ten Tails is strong enough to wipe continents off the map, and the orbs can be shaped into weapons that will completely disintegrate. Improve regeneration, six pass Senjutsu, truth seeking balls. Check, so let's see that. Truth seeking balls. Balls that seek the truth. Do y'all have truth seeking balls? Hmm? Yin release, cinematic creation, lightning dispatch. Yang release, life creation, and flight. Half, half of these things, I don't necessarily know what they do, but integrate anything they come into contact yeah. with not even ninja resurrected through edo tensei like minato could regenerate limbs lost to the truth seeking orbs which means they had to erase his literal spirit itself madara's power was so insane he was considered comparable to the original sage of six paths the dude who helped create the friggin moon and when madara created meteors they were large enough to show up against the curvature of the earth Measuring their size and estimating the height at which Madara lifted them, they'd have to possess a potential energy of at least 372 petatons of TNT. He was even fast enough to keep up with Eight Gates Guy, who kicked hard enough to bend space. Madara even has an attack where he hawks light speed loogies. Considering in space Madara has displayed speeds on par with light timing ninja, we know Ten Tails Madara would have to be significantly faster thanks to the Ten Tails' power. With virtually no one left to oppose him, Madara's plot was finally in the end game. He awakened the Rin Sharingan, and with the God Tree summoned, he can successfully cast Infinite Suthiomi, summon the giant forest around the world, create a valiant of the end that is sure endured and assault every tail beast at once but hush for 24 hours straight oh I, I never got i i never got this one though bro how you fight bro how you fighting for a whole day straight without getting tired like what is that even all about uh you no know much energy i have to have to do all that i would get i would give up eventually i don't hate i don't hate someone that much to fight him for a whole day straight god damn survived night guy they fucked up here they said night guy, not might guy, night guy. Oh, brother, y'all had one job, which can bend space. Match six stage, stage six paths, Naruto and Sasuke. Defeat the tail beast, fight Kage, might guy, Hashirama. Oh, so it's not night guy? I thought it was night guy. Wow. I guess it's another typo. Cast the infinite Tsukuyomi, spreading the tree's Some roots days. across the entire planet and capturing every single person in the world. This would enslave all of humanity in an endless dream world, free of conflict forever. That guy's a move? Through total domination. Manipulating this tree with his chakra would have been the last move? Oh. Roots through and around the entire oh. Earth in mere well, moments. my bad. Estimating the tree's mass my bad. Those are all on YouTube. Moved. My bad. My bad. Before y'all start commenting. Night guy's name of his move, dummy. Uh, it was my bad. Sorry, 
My bad, guys. I, I did not know. I was not aware of that. My bad. It must have released an energy exceeding one Yoda ton of TNT. And this was with just one jutsu. Is there a character that could Even possibly even touch Madara Uchiha? Not... <laughs> and my guy. Madara's power was so overwhelming, the, the only get... thing that could take him days. down was treachery. Even the man with the magic eye. Hey, you know what? Why not? All that was left I put predictions. Friend, Hashirama, there to I put predictions for this one. Final moments. Just like Romeo and Juliet. For never was there a story of more woe than this of Hashirama and his mother, bro. Yes, that's how the club shut the I fuck read it up. in iambic pentameter. You're dating a crip! Now, Greg, I don't want to hear it. The Soul Society was in chaos. One of its leading Shinigami was set to be executed under suspicious circumstances. A band of humans from the living world had invaded to save her, and Sosuke Aizen, captain of the 5th division of the Gotei 13, was dead. Murdered. Bro. What dastardly mastermind could have been behind all this? He'd have to be a galaxy-brained 5D chess master. The man responsible was, in fact, Sosuke Aizen. Little is known about the man's past, only that he- Sosuke fucking Aizen. This nigga is devious. Age, hundreds of years old. Yeah, so Reapers only have no age. Height, he's 6'1? So he got he got three more inches over uh over Madara? Well, yeah, that's the... He already, Madara already lost, bro. He already lost. Species, Shinigami, former captain of the Gotei 13's division, former leader of the, of the Ronkar, used to teach calligraphy. How about Madara? Madara's 5'10". He isn't a man, a human man, but a soul reaper. These Shinigami are spiritual beings who ferry lost souls to the afterlife and purify those who have turned evil in the living world. They're badass anime wizard grim reaper swordsmen. Though Aizen himself was hardly that cool. I mean, just look at those glasses, dork. But this Lark <laughs> Kent was harboring a secret. Aizen had spent years attempting to develop the means to ultimate power, ruining the lives of many of his colleagues via his twisted experiments. Oh, so when Aizen does it, he's a super villain, but when you do it to me, it's shut the hell up, Boomstick, you're under NDA and I know about the stuff you've As a Shinigami, nah, Aizen's body is. is made of Reishi, being spirit matter, and empowered by Raryoku, being- I can take him, you're out of your mind. made of Reishi are completely invisible to <laughs> what anyone a without specific supernatural <laughs> awareness, though a Shinigami's body is still tangible and can be damaged normally. And with his Ray Ryoku energy, Aizen can create incredibly powerful blasts. He's so strong, weaker beings will literally disintegrate if they get too close to him. Oh my this is god. His Rayatsu, a localized I remember that shit. Exerted as a result of his enormous power. He also knows tons of keto or spells. He can create force fields, bend the light around. All right. Now look. Let's look, let's look at it. Let's, let's look at his uh his move set. All right. Invisibility, Reishi manipulation, incredible Reishu, or whatever. Keto. <sighs> I ain't gonna try to pronounce all these. But yeah, he has a lot of spells he can do. All right. Kyoka Sugetsu. That's his, his Zanpak toe. Soul Cutting Sword. Complete hypnosis. He can put niggas under hypnosis and trick all senses, bro. He is powerful. All right. Powerful. He's God, basically. Yeah, he's a God, literally. Around him to make him impossible to detect, fire concentrated bolts of lightning and absorb the energy from his surroundings to make giant ass energy dragons. Perhaps his deadliest keto is Kurohitsugi. After an extensive incantation, Aizen surrounds his target in an enormous black coffin that distorts space and time and tears its victims apart. Aizen's plotting finally came to fruition during the invasion of the Soul Society, where he faked his death using his greatest weapon, his Zanpakuto, Kyoka Swigetsu. A Shinigami Zanpakuto is a magical sword that possesses a sentient spirit. Kyoka Swigetsu gives Aizen complete control over his victim's senses the instant oh, they lay eyes on the sword. This what about his riding? traps its victims in a nearly perfect Aizen Aizen Why are all my dick? Making himself virtually immune. Mari! Mari with the 18 months. Jesus Christ. Mari. Mari, how are you doing, girl? How you doing? Thank you for that W so. What's going on with you, girl? Doing well. Glad to see you here. What's going on?
soon to attacks while his opponents are sitting ducks. It's so strong that it kept a group Hashi, of Exo Reapers known Ashka, as the Visor trapped for over a hundred years without them even knowing it. It's one of the most broken powers yeah, what? Ever, and the definition really? of anime bullshit. But it's it was cold. all worth it I when know. he perfected his ultimate creation. Is that, is that winter? Is winter? An immensely powerful reality warping Guy, device. Look, gotta hate winter sometimes. I hate when it's too cold. It's too tough. Ichigo is stronger than Aizen? I, I mean, I, I don't I wouldn't decide. And the manga Ichigo scales slightly above Aizen? I mean, I don't know about that, bro. Like, the way they, the way how they beat Iwakbok, it was so Mickey Mouse. Like, it was like incredibly Mickey Mouse, bro. You know what I mean? Every hundred percent, like Aizen said, I said like a better chance against Ewok than Ichigo did. I'm just saying. Although the whole view itself has no explicit limits, the amount of power granted a person is dictated by the wielders of will. The moment their will f falters, the Hokuku will reject the wielder. But the Hokuku is so powerful that quote materializes the user's wishes. In Aizen's case, it realized his desire to become the strongest being in the universe. Oh, let me see. It materializes the wielder's wishes, vaults Aizen to boost power, nullifies previous weaknesses, regeneration, Reisu is detectable to weaker Shinigami, Fragor, Ultra Fragor. I don't know what that means, but just know he's OP. With it, he can heal any of his wounds, even when he's half OP. his body is vaporized. And oh, plot armor! It exponentially increases his power over time through evolution. They're talking about Ichigo? Yeah, Ichigo. Yeah, Ichigo. Into a horrifying plot armor. butterfly monster man. A being eventually strong enough to dethrone and replace the Soul King, the deity that controls the cosmic balance. Even a minor disruption to the Soul King's influence led to the three worlds of Earth, the Soul Society, and Hueco Mundo to start physically collapsing. And it implies that Mundo. the Soul King has to be outputting enough energy to hold all these- Most souls we see in the living world are those from Earth. Since Soul Society and Hueco Mundo are meant to be the home of the souls of the dead, it's safe to assume that they're the same inside as Earth. Poor shit. This is together at all times! Consider each should be roughly the same size. This would require an energy of over 140 zettatons of TNT. As Again, how do you measure that? Vaporize mountains as a side effect of a sword swing. His casual energy blasts can disintegrate huge chunks of the earth, and he can take on armies with just his Ryatsu alone. He even defeated the rest of the Gote 13 without so much Zedaton? as breaking I don't sweat. know. So he should be way stronger than Soul Society heavy hitters like Kenpachi, who sliced this 120 kilometer wide asteroid to pieces. That's roughly the width of Great Britain. An asteroid of this size would have to carry a kinetic energy of at least 44 petatons of TNT. How do you measure that? What is that? He literally transcended other Shinigami in power. He was in a whole other dimension from Lost the rest of them. This? Until he fought Ichigo Kurosaki. What the? The battle is, uh, we've all been waiting for. Well, it was like this, a or whatever? Society, like, what the video? Ichigo was already as fast as lightning. And by this point, after all his power Dude, boosts, real? he Mario, we're moving faster to. than light. Hell, even Come weaker characters like this lady can dodge light beams. Though their fight was epic, Ichigo had transcended the Shinigami as well. And even Aizen himself, feeding upon his insurgency, so abandoned Aizen, who was quickly defeated Jesus. and imprisoned within the bottommost level of the Soul Society's prison. Aizen was left alone. His great power he sacrificed so much to achieve was gone forever. Or was it? Somehow he ended up getting even stronger than before. But what made him so strong? Could it be? The chair? It's the chair. It snow. could theoretically so definitely in the south. Or a Texas suit from properly releasing, building it up within him. Jordan is some snow in base than he was at his previous. Not frequent. Nah, it's definitely the chair. And ooh, since the chair could still hold him after he got stronger, wouldn't that they make him even so stronger than the big time him? rush? Who are you telling? All hail the mighty chair, Sama, most powerful being in all of Bleach. He even managed to hold his own against the Quincy Warlord. Let me see this. Bro, look at his look at his track history. Survived Ichigo's final guess good ten show. Endured incineration incineration from his own Reitsu. Moves FTE to top tier Shinigami. Stopped the Hado from Tens from Tessai. I don't know who probably that is. Caught Ichigo's Bankai with his finger. One shot of being immune to Reitsu. Match Soul King Ewok in combat, defeated the Gote 13 and advisor Uhara Ichigo. 
This nigga is powerful. You are who absorbed the power of the soul. King yes, a finger. He even used Kyoka with the finger to trick him. And you has a dude who can literally see every possible future. Madara still better. We will see. According to Kekaku, we will see. And after standing among the gods themselves, Aizen returned to captivity and pondered the meaning of his existence. Even trapped in a prison, sealed off in a different dimension with a 20,000 year sentence, he remains the most dangerous being in the world. Who knows what schemes are brewing behind those cold, calculating eyes. No compassion, no empathy, only the drive for power. No one has ever stood at the top. Neither you nor me. From now on, I alone will stand at the top. Bro. All right, the combatants are All right. set. All we... right, Jack. Mods, pull up a, pred pull up a uh, prediction. I know y'all probably y'all some of y'all might have seen the fight already, but put up a prediction regardless. Since y'all niggas think that Modern was gonna win this, put him up. Whoa. Okay. Y'all are tripping. Okay. All right, we'll see. From the data through all possible. We'll see. But first, if you want the confidence of an anime supervillain, check out Blue Chew. Uh oh. Got an ad. Is brought to you oh my goodness, an ad. Oh my goodness. Sorry, we don't care about ads. I'm sorry. All right, shadows, watch these. Uh huh. Uh huh. You can see me. I can see everything. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Christ. Jesus Christ. Drown in despair. <laughs> Whoa. I would expect nothing more from a human. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, is that is that the is that it? It's not it, right? Nah. What the fuck? He's a Nami. Oh, is that why that happened? That was a whole different thing. Oh, okay, well, sure. Mere parlor tricks. Don't get so full of yourself. Bro, this thing getting dominated. This thing getting dominated. Oh my god. GG Jesus. Jesus. I love it. The thrill of battle. The pounding of my heart. The taste of my own blood. I love it. Yo, this is a modern freaky. Modern freak. Almost had me there, you tricky bastard. 
Nothing escapes my illusions. <laughs> knew it! I knew it! Jesus Christ! Shy, what's going on? Wait, what? Hey, you know what, bro? You know what, bro? You know what, bro? <laughs> you know what, bro? I'm done. Hey, bro, I'm done. I'm out of here, bro. What in the fuck did I just watch? How did this happen? How did this happen? What? What, what is this? What is this? How? How? Why? What? What? Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Like honestly, make it make sense. Wow, that is fucking Mickey Mouse. That is actually Mickey Mouse as well. That is so Mickey Mouse. I want them to explain in detail how he lost. Explain to me. Cause there's just so no this way. why they got rid of the dislike button? What the bullshit? I want them to explain in detail. Oh, of course Madara won! He fake died twice for his 5D chess plan, Well, Aizen only fake died once. Aizen and Madara were extremely evenly matched in raw power and speed. By our calculations, Madara spreading the God Tree's roots with his chakra was about seven times more powerful than the best that Aizen could scale to with his rare Yoku, and both ended up being roughly as fast as each other. While there are a range of possible feats and numbers to go with to determine their limits, the point is they're always going to be close to even. Which means the main thing that mattered here were their powers and how they countered each other. Madara's enormous variety of abilities eventually overwhelmed Aizen. While Soul Reapers like Aizen may be invisible to regular people, the Rinnegan allowed Madara to see invisible spiritual beings like his own- Truth seeking balls were stated to prevent Edo, from Edo Tensai from generate, regenerating because they nullified the Jutsu, giving them similarities between Chakra and Ryoku, or Reyoku, and the fact that Minato's soul was damaged even after the Jutsu, Jutsu was relieved, Aizen would react the same way. Limbo clones. Hell, the Rinnegan lets you see and remove human souls, and that's exactly what a Soul Reaper is. Both Chakra and Rare Yoku utilize spirit energy and operated in similar ways, being formed into attacks like ninjutsu and keto. That meant that Madara's ability to absorb ninjutsu allowed him to nullify the vast majority of Aizen's range attacks and even dispel his force fields. And despite how OP Aizen's complete hypnosis was, Sharingan users can break out of illusions no sweat, even ones as powerful as Itachi's Sukuyomi. And since Madara can switch between the Rinnegan and the Sharingan at will, he'd be able to break out of an illusion anytime he wanted. Aizen's illusions are nearly perfect, but fellow Captain Unohana was able to subconsciously notice its flaws. With an eye as perceptive as the Sharingan, which can spot imperfections in Genjutsu's all the time, it was only inevitable that Madara would be able to quickly break out. However, the same couldn't be said for Aizen, who never showed any resistance to the kind of mental illusions Madara can create. Even setting illusions aside, the sheer quantity of offensive options at Madara's disposal, whether it be his clones, meteors, or monsters summoned by the Rinnegan, kept Aizen constantly on the back foot. But none of that mattered if they couldn't kill each other, and both had pretty insane healing factors that could recover from just about anything, except Nidigot for those pesky down a little bit he went in his fourth Madara's form. truth-seeking orbs were capable of completely molecularly annihilating spiritual beings and preventing them from regenerating. And, again, Aizen was a spiritual being. And Aizen lacked the ability to do the same irreversible damage. Since characters much weaker than Madara Aizen perform light speed feats, they would likely end up much faster. However, based on further calculation, they still- On God, they are brain dead. It's actually let Sasuke break out of it. These niggas are fucking sped as sh Bro, like what? Like, it puts- bro, it puts the user under hypnosis. It's like, it's not even like a genjutsu or whatever. It's like- it's beyond that. Like, it's not just like some gen juice that you just break out of. You know what I mean? Like, kind of like, oh, what? Like, what? Which to Madara, the ghost of the Uchiha had exactly what he needed to put this actual ghost down for good. Aizen was an unbelievably overpowered foe, but Madara's own powers, illusions, and devastating truth seeking orbs allowed him to crush the ex Shinigami. Sosuke should have kept his Aizen the prize. And. Do you feel any shame at all? Eh, moderately. Ha! Double pun. Suck it, Wiz. The winner is Madara Uchiha. 
fucking Mickey Mouse shit. Thank you for watching this episode of Mickey Death Mouse Battle. Mickey Mouse is fuck. If you get some merch for the holidays, we've got a bunch of great new items from Death Battle and Rooster Teeth. Who's next? What's the next battle, huh? What's the next battle? What's the next battle? that box and start shopping now. Oh my god! No! No, 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 no! Wait, what? You know, I was like, I was getting hyped at first. I was like, oh my god, Saitama and Goku. I'm like, yo, everyone's waiting for this shit for, for decades. But then, I see Popeye. Nigga, <laughs> is this a joke? <laughs> not, not fair, why did I ask if it was a joke? It is a joke. Like, what? Popeye is OP. I want to see what they say about how Popeye can compete with Saitama. You know, because at, at this point, since they're over here making jokes and shit about Madara beating Aizen in a fight, you know, might as well have Saitama and Popeye, have Popeye win, right? So you know what? Go ahead. Just go ahead and do it. I I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Matter of fact, look, let me read the comments real quick. Let me see what the comments will say. Fun fact, this battle has no winner, just an illusion. I'm worried about the details. Well, it was a spectacular battle. It was still a good fight regardless. I ain't gonna lie to you. I love how they show the imprisoned eyes in the chair, which is stronger than all of his other previous forms in base, and didn't include him. Low key, low key. Why didn't they include him that eyes in there? Cause that that that's, that literally was not eyes in his strongest form, as far as I know. Oh, well, I don't know if we know. Yeah, eyes was not in the strongest form. Why? Why was that? If Ewok could peer into and change every possible possible timeline and a whim couldn't break it, I failed to see how Madara could. That's what I'm saying. Bro, y'all think, look, chat, y'all think Madara is, is is keeping up a fight with Ewok Bok? Hmm? Y'all think Madara's beat Ewok Bok in the fight? Cause I, I, I don't think so. Madara's showing against a motherfucker in his weaker form that's actually tough. That's what I'm saying. It was even in his strongest form. Death Battles is biased in this, other, in this battle other than Death Battles. This one was definitely biased. I just should've definitely won that fight, bro. I don't care. I know some dick shit. I mean, like, literally.